Hey everybody, Walt here. Uh, this is going to be my first update on the uh, Kitty Hawk. Uh, and what I'm going to show you, when you see it, you're going to think that I haven't really done anything to it. And you're pretty much right. I really haven't done much to it. Uh, but this is the, the planning stage. Um, you know, these aircraft carriers and all ships in general, they have such a long... Uh, lifespan as far as their history there's you know service history so you know throughout time there's little modifications that happen here and there and if you want to kind of try to pinpoint it to a certain um, era in history uh, well you need to kind of do a little research and uh, this is what I've done so far you see not really much of anything um, I cleaned off the the sprues from the flight deck um, and back here, this is where it's going to start. I'm, I'm planning to do this about Vietnam era. Uh, and one of the first things to look at was the missile defense system. Uh, and these are the pieces right here. Let's see if we can get it. Well, after a certain time, this would have gotten upgraded to a uh, Sea Sparrow missile defense. Uh, which is a little bit more boxy. It's not just missiles sitting on a bracket. It's going to be like a little boxy. It's going to hold... Each side is going to hold like four missiles each, uh, so that kind of pinpoints it to a certain certain uh, era of time. Uh, also, another thing to look at that I'm looking at is uh, the aircraft. Um, see, these are the ones I'm going to use right here. It's going to be mostly F4s uh, and a few other ones. And I had these two sprues right here planes, which I'm not going to use. It's going to have a uh, F-14s, F-18s, and so these aren't even going to get used. So the mainstay of this uh, ship's going to be a be the F-4s. Um, one thing I will point out on this, as far as this is as far as the manufacturer, uh, which is done by Academy, um, Flight Deck had a, quite a bit of. Uh, sprues to it you know wrapping around the flight deck and one thing that they were really nice about and I've seen it on other kits and it's it's it's, it's a pain when they do it when they have the uh, the sprues attached a lot of these companies will actually attach them right to the side here um, you see this is like enclosed railing and you lose some of this uh, railing detail uh, Academy was nice enough that when the uh, when the sprue hits the actual flight deck it was mounted on the top so really all you're really having to do is just clean up this top on the you know right on a straight line so exacto knife did it just fine so that's one nice thing about this academy kit um other than that uh not too much going on i've put a couple little bits and pieces in here so far not the best fitting um uh, model i've put together so it's going to, I think, all in all, it's probably going to need a little work as far as fit issues. And I don't really expect much problem out of it, but I think probably my biggest problem is going to be decals on this thing. Uh, I've had some, I, something about Academy uh, decals, they're really not the best things out there. So, uh, but as far as it goes, that's what I got right now. Like I said, it doesn't look like much is going on, and really not much is going on, but much is going on. But y'all have a good one now, and we'll see you maybe tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have an update tomorrow. Storms are coming, Paul!